Am I looking forward to the next farm sim? Uh, I wouldn't say I'm looking forward to it because I kind of... I'm very, very cautious about raising my expectations of farm sim these days because I'm more often than not disappointed. So I'll take it for whatever it is. We'll try it out. We'll give it a go. Play it. See if we enjoy it. But I'm not excited. Are they going to add escorted cargo loads to ATS? I assume so. I don't know, Jimbo. I'm not. I've not thought about it, my man. I'll probably. I think it comes out on a. Does it come out on a Tuesday or a Wednesday? I can't remember. I'll probably play it on release day for sure, and we'll probably play it for a couple of days after. Oh my god, just threw coffee all over the floor. Yeah, but Kyle, you know, I remember at the time watching the viewer numbers on Thursday uh, for Farm Sim. And, you know, when Farm Sim came out, the views were quite strong. And then over time, they just started to go down. Oh, not again. <laughs> I've outdone myself two in one stream. And I've completely flipped it. I don't even know what I did. <laughs> Maybe I should put my trailer stability level back up. I know I dialed it down. <laughs> I don't know why you're booming. Boom doesn't work properly. Let's see if I can fix boom while we're here. Because if you, if you watch what boom does. It'll, like, stop just at the point where I go upside down. Come on, Paul. Track limits. Like, you see, it plays for, like, 30 seconds, and then just as you get to the bit where you want it, it it'll stop. And there you go. It's going... And there you go. Upside down. Oh, that wasn't too bad, actually. But it stopped too early. Settings. Let me have a look at my settings for this thing. See, replay palms 30 seconds. I wish I could remember what settings I had it on before I messed about with it. That would be great. Boom meter. Restart boom and see if the uh, settings are picked up. Let's see, settings. Okay, right, we'll try we'll try those settings, see if that's any better. Um anyway, as I was saying, with farm sim, I think That really destroyed my engine, didn't it? With Farm Sim, I remember um, that the view counts were just coming down and down and down, which told me that people weren't interested in Farm Sim anymore. And I was getting bored of it myself. So in the end, I just sacked it. Because Farm Sim, like, unlike 15, Farm Sim 17 just didn't really kind of move forward properly. Like, the mod authors were getting frustrated with it. They kept... The way they'd done things was making it very difficult for mod authors, and they were getting really bored and not releasing maps. So, there wasn't much content coming out. That was one of the problems with Farm Sim. Let's check out the damage. Oh, we've damaged the we've damaged the goods one percent. Look at that, eighteen percent trucks, twenty one trailer. It's unbelievable. Mister Hoekster, fifty seven months. What does the button do? It causes a nuclear explosion in the sun, but you barely notice. Don't worry.
Yes, I do remember the insane tractor that Mad Mick modded. I also remember having a, a tractor given to me that was slower than everybody else's. I remember that too. You yeah, haven't played Farms in 17 since December 2017. Well, there you go. Case in point, right? They want to check my trailer contents. <laughs> it's only empty pallets. I know it's been upside down, but it's fine. Thank you, um, OMS2. Yeah. Yeah, 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 he didn't stop on time. Yeah, I'm sure you don't, Mad Mick. I'm sure you don't remember that at all. I don't know, Beaker. <laughs> I have no idea what's going to go wrong next. What did you make of Farm Sim 17 being released on Xbox One? No one's bought. Imagine my pain. Um, at some point, you have to realise that you really need to just get a PC. That's all there is to that, really. You're playing a cut-down PC with a very restricted environment, so they can't offer mod support easily. Are we left here? I think we're left here. We sell for less. Red Dead Redemption, yeah. It's annoying that it's only coming out on console. They're saving the best to last again. They don't release it on PC first. Yep, same with GTA, exactly. They know that if they release it on console first, right, the people who have PCs will buy the console edition, and then when the PC version comes out, they'll buy that as well. So you get more money. If you went the other way around, they would lose loads of money. Because people would get PCs to get it on PC and then not buy it on console. So that's why they do it. The dollar. Plus it'll look so much better on PC that when it came out on console, they'd be like, what the heck, you're charging us the same money and this is like an inferior game? Yeah, I know it was kangaroo. Uh, if you want to know how long I've been streaming, it's at the top of the screen though. Maybe floating fat man, maybe. Why is it 45 limit down this road? Uh, there's no giveaway currently running space shuttle. There will be later. Heading out of Burns at the moment. 
heading west. Uh, I don't know, Dusty. I mean, I know that the like to convert Xbox to PC is easier because it's DirectX on both platforms. PS4, I've no idea how much effort it is. Yeah, with TW, but the, the Unreal Engine, like every engine, has its own like restrictions and quirks and things like this. And depending on what game you're trying to do, um, it may not be the best engine for you, you know? We need to get this thing serviced. I've never been to Colorado now. Nope. I've been to Nevada and I've been to California, that's it. Yeah, I know where you're coming from, Connor, but equally I've seen... I've seen Unreal Engine demos that look incredible, so I can't quite work out why some of the games look cartoony. Uh, D4, is that more to do with the the platform, like as in the operating system? Like, does PlayStation still not let you change your gamer tag? I know Xbox have been doing it for years. But PlayStation, like, seriously, no. Wow. Wow. That's... That's mind-blowing. That is mind-blowing. So you pay every year to game on this environment and you cannot change your game attack name. I mean, the Xbox always had a really good... Um, system for like talking to your friends as well like they always had an environment where it doesn't like you don't even need to be playing the same game you can be doing something completely different you know one can be watching a movie somebody else can be playing a game and you can talk to each other in a group chat but the PlayStation like never had that for a long time and even when they did bring it out I remember it was a bit shonky Eight pounds to change your game game attack is a scam. I wouldn't say it was a scam. You don't have to spend eight pounds. You could be on PlayStation and not even have the option. What would you rather have? An eight pounds option or no option? I think they have to set it at a value where it discourages people from doing it too often. Like if they made it a dollar, people will be changing their name every week, some people. Yeah, I'm on 12 now, Connor. Hey, it's been okay. I still have the iPhone X train symphony. Or 10, whatever you want to call it. It's quite cheap, Kitty, but that's a good thing. Uh, I got it on the Apple Car Plan Trains in Fen, so I'll pay so much money a month. And um, within 12 months, you can upgrade if you want to. Like, I could upgrade now if I want to. Unchargeable excess. What's an unchargeable excess mean, THU? Uh, 
Um, uh, thanks, Jeffrey. Thank you for that. Is this real life? No, it's just fantasy. Caught in a landslide. There's no escape from reality. That's up to you, space shuttle. Uh, iPhone X is a cable charger. Yes, it does, Connor. You can use wireless or cabled. I was sometimes not recognising when the charger's plugged in. I've never had that yet, Beaker. On my phone, anyway. Well done, PC Kelly. Like this technology, I don't know if you remember a few weeks ago when they were announcing the new iPhones. I, I said then, I can't understand. I can't understand these people that queue up outside of the Apple store, you know, days in advance sometimes to get the phone. Like, I don't want the first phones off the production line, you know? I don't want them because... If anything is going to go wrong in production, it's going to happen right there, right at the beginning, that they find out later there's a problem. Remember that whole antenna problem they had? And any kind of manufacturing defect is going to happen right at the start. I'd rather wait for a month and then all the manufacturing has been sorted out. Yeah, there's plenty of supply. I can walk into a shop. There's no queues and I can buy my phone. All because I waited a few weeks. <laughs> you know? So I just don't get why people spend days of their life queuing up to get the phone first. Just so they can come out the shop and go, hey, I got the phone before everybody else. And you're like, so what? I spent three days of my life doing something better. Congrats. One of us lost here. I'm not sure who. <laughs> no, it, I don't think so, Kid Fungadelic. It's not Apple to blame. They're just like the people just something not right up here thinking that that's a good idea they just can't not be one of the first to have it i've seen it with nike yeah i you know i used to work around oxford circus area and there's a nike shop right at oxford circus station and i saw people queuing for days in tents to get the latest trainers it's not just apple this is a people problem not an apple or nike problem it's just crazy fans Track is fine. The thing is though, Slain, like the bragging rights are very, very... Like, how long does it last? Yeah? I mean, you get into the shop and you walk out with your phone, right? The next day, I could probably go there. There wouldn't be a queue, and I can get my, I could get the phone. So for 24 hours, maybe you've got bragging rights, and you spent three days doing it. It's just nuts to me. Why do you need it on day one? <laughs> it's nuts. Wow, that trailer was close. But like I say, it's not just phones. They do it with trainers. <laughs> well, Black Friday sales, like... I can perhaps understand a sale more, yeah? With a sale, 
you're going to have a, a limited quantity of items to give away at a price that you can't usually get it at. So I can kind of understand it more, but with with this thing, like, the item is not restricted. You're going to be able to get it going forward at the same price. There's no benefit to owning it earlier. In fact, if anything, there's a risk of, of it not, you know, risk of the defect. And you can bet the people who buy them just want to go and show off. Like, that's the real reason they're doing it, is to tell other people that they've got it. The first thing to do is text all the friends. Oh my god, I'm on the latest iPhone X Like, wow, really? <laughs> well done. People I... Surely you can't. That's better. I'm not parking it wonky. You got one of those texts, my response, K. <laughs> nice one. Two <laughs> percent damage. I need to go and repair my truck. No, when Senderbridge CPUs came out, you got one right away. SATA bug was found a few days later. Our VPC was still running seven years non stop. I mean, this is where we find out I'm in a town without a mechanic. Oh my god, there's no mechanic! Can you believe it? There's no mechanic in Bend. No mechanic. How? Why? There's not even one outside of town. You should, you should be able, if you buy um, a garage like this, right, you should be able to upgrade it. And when you upgrade it, as well as a fuel station, it should have a repair point. You should be able to get your own repairs because that would be great. I might swap trailer as well, actually. I think we will. I think we'll buy... We'll buy, um, actually, we'll see if there's a, see if there's a log, logging job out of here. Maybe I'll just ditch the trailer for now, I'm not sure. Afternoon, Yoshi. There goes the engine again. Rip. Blue Army with 38 months, how you doing, bro? You found this purple button. Do you have any idea why game capture on OBS keeps not working? Uh, no, works fine for me. You have to troubleshoot it. Uh, DPH, I might do some warships later. I sometimes use display capture corner. It depends on the game, to be honest. Some games work better with display. I like X-Plane is a classic. Because X-Plane is OpenGL and not DirectX, it tends to work capture better with display rather than trying to go, whoa, cheeky. I don't think I have trained something. Oh, the, Dusty, the 101 is amazing, dude. Go, if you want to see it, go and watch my video. I'll show you, like, 60 seconds of 101. Route 101's great. I 
I've already seen train scene fan. I've already um, one of the scenario packs that just trains did uh, had a really good tutorial on uh, Austrian and German signal differences and things. So it'd be great if you could just do repairs right here, wouldn't it? Right, let's have a quick look at the job market out of here. The PZB. I always turn it off, it's a pain. <laughs> I mean, I read up on how it does it and I understand it, but I just can't be bothered with it. Like, because if you're trying to make a video, like if you're just driving on your own train civ van, you can do the P PZB. But if you're trying to make a video and chat and think about things, and then you, you know, the PZB will bite you every time. Right. I need to go. Let's have a quick look where we want to go, actually. Actually, heading west, maybe we can pick up a, a logging job out of there. West out of here would be good. Uh, that's a nice road. This one I've not been down yet. CIFA. CIFA's easy. You just hit the space bar. CIFA. Logs. There you go. There is a lo nice log job there, actually. Happy anniversary, Nata. Expires in two hours. I think it's like 1500. If we drive that, it'll be into the night. So I'm going to have to skip time and hope we get lucky. The freight market. There we go. Ah, it's going to Astoria. Astoria is okay. We could reroute and go up the 101. That's a nicer journey. House prefabs, blimey. Let's see what else we've got. All right. Yeah, you can take lumber as well, look. No, there's not, Alan. There, there really hasn't been one that's done it all yet. It's frustrating, to be honest, because it's not, it's not really that hard, is it? Like, compared to a flight simulator, a train simulator is not that complex. Um, I need to get my trailer and we shall dismiss it. Instead, we'll grab hold of... Oh, it expires in seven minutes. Are you serious? Oh my god, hang on. I'm going to have to teleport. It's in the middle of this log camp, look. There we go. <gasps> Grab it quick. I took a minute to get there. Hey, I wanted to go outside and get some fuel, so that didn't exactly help me, to be honest with you. Uh, take job. Yeah, so if you look where we are, um, this is actually a really big kind of logging camp area. And there's, ah, there's a fuel station there, but I'm going, I will get fuel from here. Um, this is a really big log camp and there's loads of like little things going on. So if you look around, for example, this guy here who keeps chopping the same piece of wood and he never actually gets anywhere. It's like, this is the definition of insanity. You do the same job. And it makes no difference. You do the same job and it makes no difference. <laughs> it's like, and he does it endlessly. I feel sorry for him. So you've got that going on. Uh, and then you've got this machine over here, which is taking stuff and shredding it into um, bits of small bits of wood and stuff. Yeah, exactly, the Stanley Parable. Wasn't it Atlas? Something like that. Wasn't there like a Greek mythology? It was Atlas who pushed a. Was the guy who had to push a stone up a hill and then. It came back down and he, got, he had to do it again. Just keep doing that all the time. Something like that. Yeah, there's logs around. Uh, there's like little machines like this. There's other things. Um, where's the one who's picking logs up? Is it over here? There it is. Yeah, so you got this guy, which is like straight out of farming sim. Sisyphus, that was it. So he's just pulling logs like farm sim, scorpion. Uh, and then there's these guys over here. 
Just moving bits of wood pointlessly. Same over here. So yeah, it's. I mean, this is only one half of it as well. This is just one bit of it. Uh, you can actually like drive round. It's massive. Goes all the way down here. Which is some guy there doing more stuff. All the way out here, and then you take a right turn there. Is it here? And on the other side, the lake. You've got the factory, like the sawmill. Massive sawmill over here. And the road goes through the forest all around here. To the nut house. You get the idea. It's absolutely huge. Rip. I broke down in the worst possible spot. Um, so yeah. It's huge. Let's go and pick up our trailer. Uh, Beastie. Thank you for your gift to Beastie Paulie. Beastie, don't forget, forget to thank Paulie for his tremendous gift. And welcome to the Nut House, sir. Double O six 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 nine. I think the best way of getting a sub is not to sit there and go give me a sub. That's probably the better way of doing it, I imagine. Them. See you later. Your ball girl in. Nice. It's really is cuddle. I could see him last in a long time. There we go. We got the. Ooh, I like the way the leg comes up. Nice. Okay, let's put that back on. That. A left turn out of here. We go that way. That's all we need. If I, if you see a mechanic on route, guys, please don't let me miss it because I need to repair this engine quickly. Yeah, DLC is twelve dollars, about nine pounds, which is a uh, very good price. That's lower than I thought it would be. No, I'm not. Uh, I'm not doing a giveaway at the moment. I need to space things out a little bit. I've only got a few keys left. I've not actually seen the new paint jobs, uh, Cuddle. Damage. We've got 18% damage, which is not too bad, but... You know how it works. It tends to run out of power just when you need it. The stripey. What are they, um, Cuddle, what are they for? Trailers or trucks? Which ones? Mr. Steelman, thank you for 30 months. Harry Bow, roll up, roll up, place your bets. Where will SCS go with ATS next? It's a million dollar question, Harry Bow. Mm. 
No, that's very true, Beaker. Third time lucky, eh? See if we can tip over again. Location on the map is south of Benz, roughly. South of Benz, is it? This is where the massive... I think this is about the biggest log area I've seen, this one. But there's an equally good one down here near Medford. No. And a smaller one up near Astoria, just here. But that's by no means all of them. And there's also the sawmills. Wherever you see the log camps, there won't be a sawmill that far away. Oh, is it 80 star paint job tonight? Idaho or Utah, I guess, or maybe Washington. Ah, they won't do Washington. I'm wondering at what point they're going to take on Texas. Because Texas is a big state. <laughs> Listen, Rays, I've got loads of fuel, mate. Hey, Gregius, welcome back. Ah, uh, Colorado will be good. South America, blimey. Let's finish North America off first, eh? I'd like to see them do Canada, actually. Holy sub gift, Paulie. K4RM, Whiskers, Stevie U, DJ Medic, and Dark NTE. <laughs> Thanks, Paulie. Welcome to the house. Don't forget to thank Paulie for gifting your subs and for making me miss my turn. I could have made it as well, apart from the rock. Yeah, at least it didn't tip over. I nearly just smashed into a boulder. Life. This is quite a climb. Look at this. We got lucky. Ten percent of states are now complete. Uh, giveaways happen sp sporadically, isn't it? So just chill out, relax, and uh, wait for the next one. Yeah, I, an engine malfunction on that hill would have been perfect timing. A Gregius 19 months top stream is always that, and uh, an oasis of calm from the rest of the internet. Thank you, dude. 